This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.com. Um, 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 um. All right, so we're in Bedford, New Hampshire, uh, and this is a drill. Authorities are practicing for, I guess, uh, a moderate to major flood. Today's April 10th, and it's going to last until about, uh, you know, I guess from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and right now we're at the 2 p.m. mark, roughly. So what I want to do is get a sense of how appropriate or inappropriate the access they give me is. That's a media check-in area down there, so we'll see what happens when I show up there without ID. And we'll see how folks react to the questions I have, which no mainstream reporter will ask them, probably. I've always had good relations with all the Bedford authorities, and the reason for that is probably pretty simple. I live here. Because I live here, I'm very cautious here. I don't bother them if they don't bother me. But when I heard about this event, which hardly anyone knew about, I couldn't resist dropping by. Sorry, I made a mistake earlier. This is actually the media check-in site, not the spot I filmed earlier. One of the things I've learned the hard way over the years is that it's very easy to walk all the way up into an event so you're like too far in before you're ready to record. So today I drove up with my camera pretty ready and parked a little ways away and I'm just kind of inching my way in. So if I were to get kicked out for some reason, I've got this video of the periphery at least. Hi. 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 Uh, two questions. What do I need to do? And am I going to get any grief for recording this process? Okay, if you follow the guidelines, you won't get any grief. Okay. Well, I just meant the media second process. Probably most people don't film that part. Do so. you want me to guide them anywhere? Filming the media check-in process? Correct, uh, correct. Oh, no. yes. Okay. <laughs> Plus he's recording Hi. the process. Yes, okay. I'm going to record this process. Are you part of... It's uh, Dave Ridley, ridleyreport.com. Hi, Ridley. David, I should say. Dave Ridley. Okay. How are Excellent. you? And so first we need you to sign in yeah, you okay. right here, please. Is you guys National Guard? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Well, Homeland security person here. Right? Knows so, Ms. Marticella, tell me a little bit, what exactly is your position with Homeland Security? Uh, I work for, yeah, I work for the state Homeland Security and Emergency Management, and I help facilitate our exercise program. Um, with a lot of other people in our office. Um, okay. And we're here really to support um, Bedford Fire and all the agencies that are involved. Um, we really think it's important that, you know, not only are we making plans, but they're, we're exercising them and we're testing them. So Bedford has really committed to following through with the Swift Water Rescue plan that they have in place and also working with other agencies. So as you'll see today, there's a lot of agencies involved. So we really commend them for their hard work and dedication that they put in to being committed to protecting the citizens here in Bedford and then also having the capabilities to re respond to other places in the state and having those um, you know, relationships already built um, with places all over the state or here. We've got resources from out of state that are also involved. So it's just a really great chance for us to not only have a plan but test it and see how operational it is. Now, is there any national Homeland Security presence here or is it uh, So no, FEMA, FEMA is not here today, okay. but they are been fully involved with the exercise. Um, the Urban Search and Rescue Task Force 1, which is based out of Massachusetts, has done training with Bedford. Um, so, you know, 
all assets are involved, you know, all emergencies start local, so we think it's really important for the locals to play the major role in this, but here at the state, you know, our job is to help leverage all the existing resources that we have available to us. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet, chock full of privacy and security features, two-factor authentication, a second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.